are such an asshole. Dear Captain, first of all, thanks for the videos. They provide me with a lot of amusement and a sense of hope that not everyone is a virtue signaling dork. I will do my utmost to be concise. My, concise. my roommate, who I've known for nearly seven years, has been with his feminist girlfriend for over a year. Throughout the whole of university, we were late bloomers, so we didn't lose our virginity until our early 20s. However, while I went down the path of self-improvement by learning game and hitting the gym, he has clung on to the first girl that came along. Who knew? No. Uh, my mate is six foot two and has an interesting job and has played in bands in the past. He can do better. She's a militant feminist, has leg and armpit hair longer than most guys. She doesn't believe in shaving. She recently volunteered at a refugee camp. She is an insufferable bitch, and all of my mates think that she could do better. He is infatuated. Did it, don't you guys like look at porn? Do you see like what other women are available at least in theory? You know, like you know, there's like a catalog of women on the internet, like, oh, hey, this is what other, I mean, aren't you seeing other women? Or is this the only one that gave him a time of day because she's, like, sensing a meal ticket? Please don't tell me he's an engineering major. Oh, God, no. Not another engineering major supporting a liberal art parasite because she has a vagina. Please don't tell me that, guys. Please don't tell me that. I feel that I should say something to him as a friend I am torn between not saying anything and saying something. How should I approach this and how do I owe it to my friend to be blunt, bearing in mind that I still live with him? Uh, please don't do it, do it, do it, do it. Right. And I said, well, how long you guys? Did you renew? How long is your lease? Roommates and I renewed our contract for another 18 months at the end, of, at the start of the year. Like, oh, okay. So none of us are planning to move out anytime soon. We live and work uh, nearby. So it's convenient for us to further context. There are three of us in our apartment. We've all been friends since we were 18. We're now 25. Okay. Uh, you cannot say anything until you move out. And here's the reason why, is you need to give up. You need to stop having hope. That's basically it. Not just in this regard, but every other regard. You have to stop having hope in humanity. Um, and the other thing is you are young and I can almost guarantee you that you will not be long-term, you, you might be long-term friends with these guys, but you're not going to see them that long ever again. So whereas I could totally appreciate you being a good friend and wanting to warn this guy and try and save him, uh, the truth is over the long haul, you guys will all go your separate ways. You will not be a band of brothers, um... And you, you will care about him. You will wish him the best, but you're not. It won't ruin your life if his life is ruined. Um, so there's that one defeat, a sad, depressing fact that will happen. The other sad, depressing fact about hope, or you should be hopeless, is that people. You're not going to convince people, dude. You're just not. You, you guys could do an intervention if you wanted to. You could try to. But I would say only do that if there's like a month less left on your lease. Because now you have a year and a half left. And it's going to be awkward if he doesn't listen and then he hates you guys. And then he's going to be Cartman, screw you guys, I'm going home. And then it's going to be sour and dour and all that other stuff. And given <clears throat> my belief that most humans are weak, this guy is a sad loser, he's pathetic. This is the only thing he has in his life. He's not going to give it up. He isn't. He, he loves this veritable parasite more than he loves himself because it's a vagina. Because that's all he's got. And you're not going to convince him. You're not. So what I would do is say nothing. Talk to your buddies. You guys are in the same boat right now for the next 18 months. Don't make it worse than it already is. Just be nice. Pat him on the head. Oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, hairy armpit. Does she diet? it? <clears throat> um, and then wait till the month is over. Or there's a month left of the lease. And then say, dude, this is it. And, and, and I would go find, be prepared to find a new place. You know, like you have a new place already lined up. I think life will split you guys up anyway. Um, but basically you say, uh, look, dude, yeah, um, the reason we're telling you this is because we care about you, but you, you gotta get rid of that bitch. You <laughs> just got. And I have a feeling in eighteen months something will happen. Um, 
you know, it, it could happen where I think they will break up within the 18 months, but I think um, it, this, this may be moot. But if it's th still there, uh, then I would be prepared to move out, right? Maybe you guys go find another flat <clears throat> and say, um, yeah, she's a bitch. You got to get rid of her. And don't try much more beyond this. You know, like, we're here for you for help. But you, you, you just can't, you know, have you come to be, be blunt, be direct. It, 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 but you got to, you know, it's like asshole. Cause so the reason we're telling you this, the reason I tell black men to stop knocking up chicks and, you know, to wear a condom or uh, get a vasectomy or whatever and major in engineering is not because I hate black men. It's because I want them to do better. I actually give a shit. The reason I tell women not to major in stupid shit is not because I'm a sexist. It's quite the opposite. It's because I want women to do better. And we're, we're on this world where the only form of love or care or compassion for your fellow man is it has to be positive reinforcement. Where I'm like, no, there is a huge deficit, a lack of negative reinforcement, of fatherly discipline, of telling people, no, that's bad. So you have every moral right every moral right because you're doing him a good solid to tell him to get rid of this gal but what i'm saying is your plan a should be yeah me and my other roommates are going to move out we're going to get our own place when this 18 months is up um and then i would have i can almost guarantee you he's not going to get rid of her i can almost guarantee you because people are weak people are sheep man and it sounds like your buddy's weak to begin with because he doesn't want to hit the gym this is it. He's not, sa he's not salvageable. He's not savable. You're not going to save him. This is not saving Silverman. You're not going to save Silverman. It's over. Uh, so I would not ruin the next 18 months of your life, your home life, uh, like that. I would, however, man, I'd be recording everything when that girl comes in. If you got a weaponized woman like that coming in, go read the Pence Principle. I know it happened in the United States. It didn't happen in London or Britain or wherever the hell you are because you're using flats. Um, or maybe Australia, um, but God Almighty, dude, just you, you got to film. I mean, just be really careful of that girl. Be really careful, because then you got a sexual harassment complaint or a sexual assault case or something like that. And don't start the shit now. You start the shit now, she's gonna go full berserk and start finding. Oh, Leo, Bobby touched me, and uh, fuck no, just. You give her a wide berth. She's in there. Like, if you're in there, you're recording everything with your phone, and you leave. You know? That's what I would, yeah. All right. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Doodles.